Okay, so we are again on Wall Street Bets, the subreddit that became infamous after what happened to um, GameStop mostly end of January this year. Um, in the last video I was trying to find um, patterns in the number of, um, of times that a stock gets mentioned and we find that uh, GameStop is still um, seemingly uh, popular on uh, on the platform and um, there's other like um, Amazon that was, was highly mentioned on the 12th of February um, at the beginning of my um, observation period yet it didn't get mentioned anymore after uh, so that's pretty interesting uh, what what we didn't capture with 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 this simple like number of, of mentions is the sentiment uh, in the comment. Of course, a, a, a stock could be mentioned in a, in a positive or in a negative way. And um, so, uh, Vader. so what I want to do is use the um, sentiment library Vader, um, which is, um, as of the description, it's a sentiment, a rule-based sentiment analysis tool. Um, uh, especially attuned to sentiments expressed in social media. So basically with Vader, and we have already stock mentions, with Vader you can enter some sentence, oh, it doesn't work, let's restart. Does it work now? Yeah. With, with Vader you have some uh, sentiments such as like uh, I, I like this stock and you would get a positive um, sentiment score um, you would have like I really like this stock you get a yet more positive one um, if you say you would never buy this trash um, it gets a, interestingly a, a, a zero sentiment and with absolute dog shit you get a highly negative sentiment. Um, now the problem with this is that um, that Vader does not, that the lexicon does not include specific um, language for uh, re related to trading or, or what is used on Wall Street bets. So for this I will download, I don't have it here, I downloaded the package source and I unpacked it into um, the directory um, here, Vader. And what is interesting is that we have um, a sysdata RDA. And now what the sysdata RDA is, it's basically, so I restarted. And the sysdata basically is a, is a, is a dictionary um, of terms. Or here it starts with the smile is, and V2 is the sentiment score, and V3 I believe is the standard deviation of V4, which is like they ask ten people what is what is what do you believe this stands for, and people would give their sentiment. And you have expression like YOLO, um, with a positive uh, sentiment. We have expressions like retard. Uh, which is highly negative and you have things like call uh, a call option which is not included in the um, in a lexicon and of course I would argue that retard is not necessarily negative in the Wall Street bets and um, subreddit it's just how they call each other um, from what I've read and a call option is a positive uh, a positive word in this context. So basically I, I put together a couple of words that I believe um, should, should be put to neutral. Um, things like retard, um, autist, stonk, um, some highly posit uh, positive words, uh, bullish, tendy, tendies, call, long, moon, hold, diamond, hands, uh, squeeze, balls, Elon, and also a couple of negative words like wife and backholder shorts. 
and so to put this uh, into the lexicon um, I join it and uh, when that's done we save it to and uh, to the directory to this RDA file that was in the package so this one has now been replaced and um, we will now uh, detach a uh, package we will remove the installation of later that we have I have to restart our I believe and we will install it and uh, package from a uh, source from this um, folder so that's what I'm doing now and as we load it and we have a specific um, Wall Street Bets uh, lingo like I just yellowed uh, GameStop will not sell before for 20 uh, diamond hands well it gives now a positive sentiment um, if you say something like SLV is a fake squeeze um, hate hedge funds uh, it's uh, here it is it's a negative sentiment um, so that's exactly what we want um, we have the sentiment ah oh yeah the sentiment data again this uh, function um, takes a moment uh, to uh, to run so I loaded I pre-computed and I saved it um, so this sentiment that's pretty that's pretty long but it didn't crash that's good actually let's have it as a as a, no. I know because I have I don't have the plier loaded. Mm, sentiment here it goes. This I don't need. Um. So with this common sentiment, um. You, you have the 10,000 comments uh, that we have to clean to, to remove, um, I believe, the, the backslash because it's not supported with the um, Vader at the moment. And you get the sentiment. And it, it, I guess it makes sense um, most of the time. Like BB is a long hold, it's positive. And uh, what's negative? Uh, if you're thinking of, well, I don't see the full comment, but apparently, like this is negative, and um, closing positions, blah blah, that's negative. So, what we can do now is summarize it again, and um, yet get an average sentiment per uh, per comment. Mm, sentiment. Maybe I should run the things before before doing the stuff. Here it is. Reddit mentions we need. mentions we get the, the number of the, the counts and then you see things like um, Tesla and um, like not only not you, you don't see the number of times it gets mentioned but you basically see this the average sentiment um, so you, you see it it fluctuates between uh, one and and something above three uh, what we can do now, we can see the top five stocks with the number of mentions, and we see, and uh, we will plot now uh, a chart for the for the sentiment. And we we saw in the in the previous um, part that Amazon got mentioned a lot before, and then very little. And um, what is interesting now is that apparently Amazon gets 
um, highly positive sentiment, highly positive mentions, um, uh, all um, opposite to PLTR, um, which seems to drop in in sentiment over the time. I don't know why it only shows five. Uh, is there a reason for this? What if it's ten? Oh, or the yeah, you see, you see again Amazon that it that went up, and um, you see AMD. Interesting, AMD um, turned into negative territory um, for the sentiment on the 18th of February. Um, so I I believe that's quite interesting. Um, of course, you can have a a longer time series, a lot more data you could load from Reddit, and basically see if it correlates with um, forward performance. Um, something I haven't done um, uh, yet, but might be interesting to have a look at. Um, so in the next um, part, uh, I want to look at not only the sentiment, but basically who posted it and to see an importance of the user posting it in, in the network of, of the, uh, in the subreddit. Um, so this, stay tuned for this. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.